Have you ever been annoyed that a diaper holds much less than promised? In the description and on the packaging, manufacturers often outdo each other. 5 liters, 6 liters or even a whopping 11 liters for the newer rears. Many of you have probably already noticed that there is something wrong with these promises. In my practical tests, 2.5 kilos total weight is also a very good result, with seats no diaper has ever come close to 3 kilos. In this video, I'll show you why this is the case and we'll test it roughly as the manufacturers do. I use a little for big vintage baby a BDL diaper for this. Although it feels soft and looks nice, it failed the practical test due to its poor absorbency. It didn't even come close to the 5,500 milliliters theoretical suction capacity mentioned in some stores in the practical test. So have these values been invented? No, they have even been standardized as an ISO standard. It works something like this, you unfold the diaper and flood it. No, not by a person of course. It's done by a machine that puts the diaper underwater. I recreate this with a hose from the bathtub, we let the diaper run full of water. Even this relatively bad diaper does a great job here, the stream runs in all the time and it still stays inside. You can see it getting wider and wider. The leakage protection on the sides even works quite well for quite a while when lying down. But even if it's just the bathtub, we're in a kind of laboratory environment here. You can already see from my movement of the jet how far removed from everyday life this test is. Anyone wearing a diaper will do it in roughly the same place. In any case, the jet is not distributed over the entire surface of the diaper. Therefore, when standing and sitting, the front and between the legs are soaked particularly quickly, while there is still plenty of room at the back of the bottom. The diaper can still leak. Unless you change the position so that you are lying down later, for example. Then the liquid can run onto the bottom and the absorbent pad fills evenly. But who does that in everyday life? The point of a diaper is that you don't have to worry about the position in which you put it in or how much you let run out. For all people who have to wear diapers due to incontinence or other reasons, this question doesn't arise at all, it's automatic for them. They must therefore rely on the diaper itself to distribute and absorb the liquid. In the uniform theoretical test, however, exactly the opposite is done. The entire surface is immersed in water and the absorbent pad is used to 100%. In everyday life, this would only work by swimming in a diaper. But this is not a good idea because disposable diapers are not made for this. The contents no longer stay inside and they swell up. You can see it in the video. Most of the capacity is now filled and more and more is leaking into the side of the tub. But it still absorbs some of the water. You can see that it is getting wider and larger. On a human, it would have leaked long before everything fills up. In the laboratory test, the diaper is submerged for a certain amount of time and then turned upside down to drain. Again, you wait for the same amount of time to weigh it. If you subtract the full weight from the weight of the empty diaper, you can calculate the pure filling quantity and thus the absorption capacity. I have kept it simple here and weighed the diaper as it came out of the bath, it weighs a proud 7.2 kilos. That's a completely different range than in the practical test. Even a little more than the 5.5 liters stated in the store. This is because my test did not follow the ISO standard exactly, but was only similar in principle to demonstrate it. We also don't know how the 5.5 liters were measured. There is no ISO on the label, so it is probably the manufacturer's own measurement. Depending on how you measure, the final weight will be higher or lower. You can see that from the difference of about 1.5 kilos between my measurement and the manufacturer's. I have subtracted about 200 grams for the empty weight, which hardly differs with empty diapers. Here you can also see why it is not possible to compare the theoretical suction power of different manufacturers if they have not both measured according to ISO. If there is no mention of ISO standard, you have to assume that you have your own measuring method. The theoretical absorbency is therefore at most an extremely rough classification. A medical diaper with 1.5 liters will probably hold less than an ABDL with 9 liters. But not more. Above all, however, it says nothing about how much the diaper can really withstand in everyday life. The conditions are very different from those when you put them underwater in the test lab. For example, it depends on the distribution of wetness and the fit. None of this plays a role in the theory test. A diaper with a poor fit will get just as high a measured value. However, it will leak on your body and that is the decisive factor. If you are interested in the real suction power in practice, take a look at my practical tests. 
I have tried many diapers in everyday life, stay dry until the next video.